Fly Me to the Moon is a film that I first came across. I was like, wait, is this a parody? Is this a rom-com? What is it? And quite frankly, I still don't know what it is. So, Angelina, can you enlighten us a little bit, maybe? Do you have any idea what this movie is? Um. So what I read was it is a cute, um, what is the headline of this? Sorry, guys. I was like, this is what killed me. Five Minute Moon Review, Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum fire in all cylinders in a screwy space raised rom-com. It seems like Scarlett Johansson is a marketing agent. Uh, she owns her own marketing yes. agency and she is faking landing on the moon to the whole of America. Which, that's what it looks like. So it definitely feels like an Based alternate history trailer. situation, right? Like that's yeah. kind of what it hints at, if, if anything. But you know there are um, theories that we never John, actually landed your... on the moon. Yeah. So I feel like it's Don't playing on there. Mind me. Um, the only thing I know about this movie, I saw like a poster for it. I think I might have seen a TV spot for it. And a buddy of mine saw it and he said it sucked. That's all I know about it. So, oops. <laughs> wow, you just trashed the movie before we even went to see it. That's great, John. Um, it's, it's, it's a movie gotta that... Gotta keep um, him honest. You gotta keep him honest. That's fair. Okay. They have, it, it certainly tracks, that, that, that review tracks, because they haven't uh, lifted the embargo for the reviews yet. So, that That's usually... A great sign. That's oh, it's directed by Greg Berlanti. That makes <laughs> sense. Okay. Now it's all come. Okay. Now it's clear. Okay. There you go. Okay. Cool. There we go. You, you can need, have your range on. say anything else. That's it. Boom. That's all, folks. There we go. Okay. You're not even going to give it a chance. I mean, maybe maybe it's, it's good. The guy maybe, who maybe. ruined like 10,000 DC superheroes. Let's not give him a chance. Anyway. That's all I mean, I the, the reviews I've seen have ranged from good to terrible. Like it's it's uh, something where I mean, now here's the thing. I have not read like 100 reviews, so I don't know how many reviews are out there. But the ones I've seen, you know, they, they do praise the chemistry of Channing Tatum and Scarlett Johansson. Which that is such a random be pairing, because to me, that would just never make sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you see them, they come from opposite worlds. I feel like Scarlett Johansson was always more of like a character actor that then got more pulled into the Marvel universe and became like, she was always really incredible, right? But she was kind of a niche actor. Like I remember yeah. her specifically from a lot of indie movies. She was always like hypersexualized, but she was always in like big movies. Right. This feels weird because Channing Tatum is like, to me, like a B rate actor at best. That is he's gotten famous. much better over the years. Like he's definitely like he's really just famous ability. for Magic Mike. Like everything I mean, else what, has been but terrible. But Jump Street, I mean, he's done the oh, Jump Street. Jump he and Jump funny. Street, we got jumping your ass. Okay, jumping your ass. Oh, sorry. Okay, my uh, name is Jeff. <laughs> that movie still tracks. I will give that to you. I have nothing else to say after that. Twenty one yeah. and twenty two Jump Street are excellent. I'm still pissed we didn't get that dude, Men in Black crossover. I am so dude. That they need to bring that franchise back. I don't know why they canceled it. I don't, so I don't get it. Jo well, I probably because Jonah it. Hill. Jonah Hill lost I, all that weight. He's just not as he's not as funny anymore. I don't know. Twenty two Jump Street is probably the the greatest comedy sequel of all time, in my opinion. It just probably. it just does. It just does it so perfectly, and it, they while well, at the same time they're satirizing yeah, the whole of concept of sequel. stuff in there. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember the, going to see the first one in high school, and literally we we didn't stop making jokes about that movie for years, years. It's got one of the best end credit sequences, and probably one of the most expensive end credit sequences of all time. That, quite what frankly, by dispute? itself, should have just yeah. What contract dispute? Like what? Like. Was it Janko or like it's it's what, what, what did he call him? All right, Janko. Like, no, it's, Janko. it's <laughs> all right, Jackson. No, it's it's Janko. No, Jackson, oh. it's Janko. Oh, sorry. I feel like Jonah Hill is just genius, though. I just I, dude, like, well, let's not get crazy here. But it sure. also uh, it also makes me yeah. wonder though if Channing Tatum can sort of rise to the occasion if his counterpart is incredible. And Scarlett Johansson has proved herself to be like really incredible. So maybe, maybe it'll be fine. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I think know. Channing, Tat Channing Tatum deserves a win because he didn't get his Gambit movie, which I'm also really upset about. Well, so, I was upset about that too. I yeah. think he would have really. I, he would have been. I mean, like he, he was yeah. kind of like what we were talking about with uh, with yeah. uh, what was it, Lobo? Like Jason yep. Momoa. 
perfectly cast mm-hmm. as Lobo. Channing Tatum, perfectly cast as Gambit. Oh my God. Let's make I it mean, happen, guys. Come on. It could still happen because ultimately... the, the Marvel's way not going to use seems... him. Come on. <sighs> They're like, oh, this guy's perfect casting. Let's go with somebody else that you've yeah. never heard to of. anyone else. Well, well, hey, look, this is going to be the movie of the week next week, right? So we're going to go check it out. Mm, we're going to see just how good or bad it is. And then we'll make our judgment call. I mean, it is Greg Berlanti directed, and I'm, I'm sure John's going to have a great time with that. Um, I'm not watching this <laughs> shit. What are you, what are you, crazy? <laughs> well, well, we'll have lots to talk about on DCU Daily, John, because we do have, of course, not only Superman's birthday, they, they shot quite a bit on the bridge out in Cleveland. So we're going to dive into that. Um, that's coming up later. Um, but right now it's time to end the show. It's been it's been a long show. We've been through so many movie reviews, so much news mm-hmm. out in Hollywood. As so always, you guys are welcome to keep stopping back in. We do this every week. Uh, you're welcome to hit the like button. That really helps us out on the channel. Hit the subscribe button. That will let you know when we have a new video going up. And if you hit the notification bell, it will tell you when we go live. And so as always, guys, uh, go out there, watch something movie related, come back to, a, uh, to us and then talk about it because we're going to be here talking to you about it, Fly Me to the Moon, a movie of the week next week, and then I'm sure we'll have DCU news and whatever else is going on out there in the world of Hollywood, we'll bring that to you as well. Until then, Angelina and John, it's been great talking to you today. Bridget was here earlier, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll be back later on the channel with DCU Daily. So, guys, um, until then, um, Janko? Janko, whatever. What Janko. Janko.